played a whole lot of snaps in the last two weeks. Uh, yeah. How's it felt to get out on the field and be in the mix? Yeah, it felt really good going from five snaps to 80, being out there with the guys. So they got their back, you know, they got, they got mine. Did you say you went from five snaps in the previous game to 80? Yeah. That third, you know, that nickel package, playing that third corner role, what has that been like? Especially just stepping in, learning a new position. Still got to do your job. Got to learn quick, learn while you're going. What was the biggest difference from playing inside to outside, you know, uh, as a corner? There's not, I don't really think there's much of a difference except for me just playing the offense that I were always pressed. How much bigger have you gotten since spring, I'll say? Have you added much weight? Same size. Really? Yeah. What about since you got here? Same size. <laughs> All the coaches talk about how much bigger and physical you seem, but. <laughs> is, that, is that your game, physicalness? And most cornerbacks you know, maybe aren't, aren't as physical as you, at yeah. your age anyway. I like the attack or receiver, so I'm letting them come at me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like specifically, like, just your game sort of plays well in that slot spot of the nickel? <clears throat> you know, like you're matching up against guys that are mostly like the same size as you physically. Got to be aggressive, got to get them out the same reroute and everything, and run with them at the same time. Yeah, last year on scout team, I mean, how much was that beneficial <coughs> to your development as a corner? The scout team, since I was always going up against the lines, it helped me focus more instead of just being out. <laughs> I mean, is it, but you're, you're simulating the other team's defense while, you know, also working on technique. How do you balance those things, you know? Some. Some schools defense does that like, but some schools do it's like easy to run. Yeah, so I still have me picking my footwork while I was over there. Who stands out to you on Duke's offense so far? I haven't really gotten to their offense yet. I was just learning safety too today, so I was focusing on that in the group. What safety spot have you been learning? I've been learning for today. That um, the first game you really got all those snaps with Syracuse, where they're gonna, you know, they're snapping the ball every eight seconds and they're throwing the ball all over the place. Was that kind of a, kind of a wild game to step into for your first extended playing time? No, since I basically take out of scaly reps, so I was used to it. Didn't really get tired out there. You mentioned learning uh, field safety. Yeah, is it at the point now where you guys are like telling the coaches, yeah, you know, take Jordan on the offense. We can we can handle it back here. <laughs> no, nah, they just pulled me over to get some depth. Corner and safety. Is it exciting, Theron, to see all the young guys you know, in the secondary starting to play more and showing improvement, whether it's you, DeMar, or, you know, even Pinnock and Mathis? Yeah, everybody got to be ready to step in whenever the coach calls your name, you got to be ready to play. Has the transition been difficult for you coming from Rashid and Sydney City League to major college football? Uh, no, just bring the intense every day, bring the same intensity, just be myself. And the speed has been a big difference, though, for you, right? Uh, like the first week before camp, before freshman season, yeah, it was. Before the coach was allowed to get out on the field with us, it was. But it didn't take long to get used to it? No. The, uh, that, that package that they put together with, with you and the nickel, did they start working on that, you know, that week leading up to Syracuse, or yeah. had they started working on that before that, or was that the first time? Uh, the, the Monday before Tuesday practice, Coach Hill texted me and told me to get ready. <laughs> we got a couple guys in competition for the nickel spot. Job. You think part of it was, was just being healthy? I mean, did, like, how long did it take you to really feel like you were 100%? I felt 100% after the Penn State game when we played at Colorado State. I felt 100%. Mm -hmm. Jerry, you mentioned for sure. I remember for sure you certainly did a lot on offense, too, of you. Yeah, you know, now you see Jordan. When you see, yeah, when you see Jordan doing this stuff, have you ever kind of nudge the coach and say, I can, I can yeah, take the ball, too? That's what you need to say. <laughs> You played a little quarterback on the scout team, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I played Georgia Tech on the scout team QB last year. Who did a better job, you last year or Paris this year? Me this year. Was <laughs> <laughs> it just Paris to believe that? Uh, you don't have to. You can watch it now. <laughs> <laughs>